Well, the royal couple has left Perth after charming crowds on their Aussie tour. And in light of their visit, we are revisiting that old question. Should Australia become a republic? That is today's big question. Lisa Fernandez hit the streets to find out what you think. Do you think we should become a republic, Australia? Have, have we had enough? Well, I will say it this way. If it ain't broken what we got, leave it alone. I think I should say part of the Commonwealth. And I guess at some point we have to stand on our own, but I was born there, so I have a bit of loyalty. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm happy with the way we are. Everything's going well as it is at the moment, so I feel I should say the same. I think the need to have a monarchy dictating at the highest level. It's old-fashioned, it's unnecessary, we're a country of our own now. So I think Australia should make their own decisions and own rules and legislation and things like that. We depend on others to, yes. you know, for decision-making. And that shouldn't be the case. I'd really like to see a plan of how we're going to do that, rather than just saying, yeah, we should do it, and, and then it's all anarchy and chaos. Lisa joins us now in the studio, along with two very special guests with two very different views. WA Labor leader and pro-Republican Mark McGowan and Bill Hassel, current member of Australians for Constitutional Monarchy. Good morning to you all. Good, Good morning. morning. I think we'll kick Good it morning. off with Bill just to my left. left. Um, Bill, I've got to say, uh, the young people uh, have no idea what we're talking about now uh, because they really uh, aren't really interested, it seems, in well, changing anything. And I suppose you'd be for that point of view too. Well, Lisa, I think the young people do have an idea. You you saw them there. Yeah, they're, really saying, they're saying... <laughs> what? Well, well, you didn't see the ones that the cut that time. Yeah, well, they, they, yeah, we, we put the good no ones idea. in for you, Bill. What lots of people are saying is the system we've got has been there for a very long time. It's taken hundreds of years to develop. Mm -hmm. It's working. It gives us stability and continuity and leave it alone. And, and that's what the public generally is saying. Mm. Leave it alone because there's nothing wrong that has to be fixed. And all this rubbish about being an independent country, we've been totally independent since 1932. I will say though, and I'll put this on to you Mark, uh, I would like to see an Australian head of state. Just my personal opinion. We've got one, you know. What about you? Well, our head of state is the British monarch. Yes. And so, uh, I, I'll put it this way, I have three children. Mm -hmm. um, the only job in this country they can never ever do is our head of state. Yep. So I have the view that we're an independent nation, we're a sovereign nation. Australians should be eligible to undertake any role in this country, including mm -hmm. the head of state. See, I would have I would have liked to have seen you know someone like Adam Goods be able to be head of state. Just again, my, he my could opinion. Be. He could be. Well, there, there's a lot of there's a very strong argument yes. being put by the most senior constitutional lawyers that the Governor General is Australia's head of state. And the monarch is a separate thing. Well, right. He's being headhunted well, by the Labor Party, apparently, so yeah. it's, it's not out of the question. Bill, can I put this to you? This recent uh, data, I think, and to be fair, was commissioned by the Australian Republican movement, asked the question, when Prince Charles becomes King of Australia, will you support or oppose replacing the British monarch with an Australian citizen as Australia's head of state? Uh, a little over a 1,000 people surveyed, 51% said that they would prefer an Australian head of state. What do you say to that? Well, I say, firstly, it's a very small margin, and secondly, it's the same question that we had in 1999 when the whole public voted at a referendum and decisively rejected the idea of a republic. The question is not just, do you want a republic, but what kind of republic? Mm. And what most people tell you when you bore down, the ones who want a republic, mm. they say, if we're going to have a republic, I want to vote. I want to vote for the president. And mm. that's the one thing the politicians in Canberra will never give you. Mark, you need to stop this guy, really. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um, I, I like Prince Charles. Uh, he was here on the weekend and people like him, but it just doesn't get away from the issue. The issue is this. Should we have an Australian as our own head of state? My view is yes. And secondly, the idea in this day and age that by right of birth uh, you inherit something as important as that is frankly absurd and we should actually have a proper selection process based upon merit and based upon effort. So mm -hmm. if we have a selection process based upon merit, you'd never have a hereditary system. Yeah, and also, Bill, I mean, you know, if they are representing us, shouldn't they be more inclusive and not just invite certain people to a barbecue and cottage? <laughs> I know that I didn't get invited. Everybody and should be invited. That's a crime, you know, Lisa. I think it is well, a crime, don't you think? You but know? Lisa, Lisa, yes. you've got to get it. I wasn't invited mm. and he was. 
Ex- what I know. Well, that's, that's, that's the real story. They have, they have standards. They have standards. Yeah. They have standards. <laughs> they're, trying to, they're trying to reform him somewhere exactly. along Exactly. Charles wanted an opportunity yeah. to win you over. Mark, did he win? How were the sausages, by the way? The sausages were great. And I met Prince Charles. He was very charming. Uh, but, you know, I, I didn't tell him my views on the Republic. I suspect uh, he knows. <laughs> but I met lots of people at the barbecue, actually, yes. who were Republicans. Yes. And they were all saying, look, we're Republicans. We believe in yeah. Australians be able to fill this role. But we but, might have been but, here. <laughs> but out of respect for the office, and if, I'll say this, if it was the uh, Queen of Belgium, I think there's a Queen there, the King of Sweden, uh, yeah. the Emperor of Japan, I'd go as well. Um, yeah. Now, we have a special for relationship... Well, we have no, a special no. relationship with Britain, yeah. that's yes. true. That would always continue, but we just have a view as Republicans that Australians should be able to play every role in this country, including head of state. In saying that, I'd go to the barbecue if Harry was there too. Because, <laughs> like you, so. you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> OK. That's, okay. Now Maybe you're getting you into who's your favourite. <laughs> yeah, anyway, exactly. We'll have to leave it there. Mark, Lisa and Bill, thank you very much Thanks, for your thoughts this you. morning. Thank you. Thank I'm you. sure this one is not going to go away anytime soon, so we may well be back here discussing it again one day soon.